Hey everyone, it's Leo again. Well, I'm going to be showing you a couple different things today, mostly for the guys that are doing the um, uh, reconstruction of the floppy and the hard drive and other peripherals. But I'm going to show you also an ABU adapter because I don't think anybody else has shown, shown them and I happen to have one. So I'm going to get right to it and flip around. Whoop. There we go. And so here is the NABU mass storage unit. It's, um, it has a, a 10 meg hard drive. A, let's just flip around here. It's a Seagate, Seagate uh, ST412. The other one is a 1.2 meg floppy drive. And see, look at the size of that guy. And, and it has a, this is a big controller board and I've already taken pictures of this, but I'm trying to get enough so that people can actually take a look at it on the video. That's one of the controller boards, but the hard drive also has another controller board in it. Uh, you can just barely see it, but it seems to be glued to the actual drive. So I'm at loath to take it apart. And I'd really like somebody who knows a lot more about it to deal with this or give me advice on dealing with it. I'm getting some, but I'm, I'd appreciate in the comments, anything that you say, I will research it and try to figure out if it can help me get stuff off of this. What's on this guy, this is a cab serve system. So it will have a lot more of the software that maybe DJ is missing and even different software because when we built the cycle, we, it changed throughout the seasons. Like in the, uh, in September, we had more educational things and we had ads for that. When we had, um, um, uh, in, in Christmas, we had like Christmas carols and stuff like that. So everything actually was very dynamic in, in, in the menus. So in fact, there's very, there's many, many, many menu copies that are all different. Some with some packages, some with other packages and that kind of stuff. What we'd really like to do is be able to change the menu in the way that it used to be in the past, where we used to merge them together using the Gould cell. Now, this guy here is the NABU adapter. Uh, so have you noticed the NABU adapter looks a heck of a lot like the NABU itself. And there's, that was for good reason, because we stacked these units together. I'm going to show them in their stack configuration in the next video. But um, I, w I wanted this open because uh, people don't like the way I manhandle the screws and the, the lids and that kind of stuff. So I figured that's boring. Anyway, I'll just show you what it looks like on the interior. It had a really nice, clean power supply. If you look over here, this guy here, it's just like, it's just simple. And there's a nice little fuse right at the top there. The, uh, this part here is the actual RF unit. I am not taking this apart. It's got too many things that, uh, well, I don't know how to. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get this into somebody's hands that can take this apart and figure out what's going on with it. And we have the last thing. This is the logic board for the NABU adapter. And I'm going to try to take a good shot there so that you can see it. It's probably upside down. So let me just do it the other way. There we go. So there we go. Um, now what we have, I'm going to try to not wreck this video like I did the previous one. I'm going to put my finger. This thing here is a PAL. And what that is, is this tells this NABU what serial number it is. And, it, and the, the adapter does know its serial number. And this allows... For instance, the message light on the front panel of this thing to function. And what that does is, a, is a, 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 a customer might, for instance, forget to pay their bill. So they would get a message saying, please pay your bill, you're going to get cut off. They would be built into the cycle at night. Everybody's messages were individual. And basically, the, the message light would come on. And the first thing that would happen when they booted their NABU is they would see their message. DJ had a little problem with this because he had some old message format that didn't work and crashed the system. I'm going to try to find one that was an actual one that actually does work, but that comes when we take apart the floppies. So let me just take a look at that. So besides the PAL, what else do we got here? I don't know any of these properties, uh, uh, processors, and I've just opened this up and I don't remember anything else about it besides the PAL. So I'm going to let you guys figure that out and ask me questions about it. And if somebody wants me to turn on the power to see what it does and play, play a scope to get some readings and fine, like I can do that for the RF uh, unit and we might be able to get some valuable data for people that are trying to re re completely recreate the adapter and its broadcast signal. All right, I think that's it for now. The reason that, that I'm not gonna do any more right now, uh, and I, I think I talked about the AT drive. This is my AT drive that I'm gonna do the, the, the um, uh, conversion with so far it might be another one I, I haven't plugged this in yet so i don't know but i'm just letting the guys know that i have one you don't have to send me one uh that's uh, that's it for now one last shot of everybody together nabu adapter nabu mass storage unit for developers and cab serve demos 
and my 1.2 meg floppy from an AT that will be used as part of the process. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to sort of deal with them. Talk to you later.